हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द रिपेयरिंग ऑफ जॉनसन ट्रेडमिल एंड इट्स अ डीसी ड्राइव ट्रेडमिल एंड हेयर वी हैव इट्स अपर कंसोल और मैन डिस्प्ले एंड हेयर आई हैव कनेक्टेड दीज टू वायर्स विद दिस इन्वर्टर एंड since uh, i have not connected its incline motor so i use just vr to remove its error 3 because if you have not connected or if you don't connect uh, the incline motor it will give you error 3 so in order to uh, neglect the error of uh, error 3 so you have to connect uh, the sensor it's a sensor of a incline motor so uh that's what okay anyhow uh, here it's uh, the main cover of its inverter it's uh, johnson treadmill and uh, it's a dc drive treadmill and its motor model is jc11-001 anyhow so let's uh, start here i'm going to press the start button it's quick start are you ready so you can't listen any sound from this inverter so uh although i have not connected the motor but it's giving us error one so uh i connected the motor with its inverter and at these two terminals that's the B L N R E D. That's the black and red for DC motor, but it's not driving its motor. So let's uh, troubleshoot it. Uh, this inverter, and uh, I will also explain you the working principle of uh, this inverter. Since this is DC drive uh, inverter or uh, the driver, it's uh, drive the DC motor. So uh, if you can see here, we have. And the diode which is used to like uh, for the reverse voltage in order to protect this inverter this is for the protection in the in case of reverse voltage since it's a dc motor is going to is connected with with these terminals and here we have the mosfet so uh, let me plug out the power and uh, be remember whenever you try to troubleshoot these kind of inverters because uh, they are uh, the capacitors are uh, charged and they get charged and its capacitance is almost 330 so 330 330 330 so it's almost Nine ninety, all almost you can say one thousand microfarad at four hundred and fifty volts. So it's a uh, too much, too much. So electrical short, the hazard of electrical shock is there. So be careful when you uh, working over this inverter. So here you can see uh, inside that there is a red light. So this red light means that this cap these capacitors are charged. So uh, Uh, either uh, you can uh, either discharge these capacitors uh, by just uh, using a dc motor you can place dc motor uh, i am not polarity sensitive but you can place the dc motors two wires with any of these two wires to discharge these capacitors and after that uh, you can uh, pull it out its uh, upper console uh, or upper card of this inverter and uh, then you can go further so here i have its upper card and this is the power supply so once uh, we supply the voltage over here ac voltages and uh, here we have the fuse and uh, here is the main relay which uh, is used to charge these capacitors and then drive motor and here we have the bridge rectifier and uh, this bridge rectifier is used to 
convert uh, to create a, to convert AC voltage into DC and then these DC voltages are used for control since these DC voltages come over here almost 300 and 350 volts and these DC high voltages come across these points so this is the high voltage uh, sorry high frequency transformer these high voltages come over here and then these uh, DC voltages are further stepped down and uh, 12 volt 14 volts uh, 5 volts uh, uh, whatever the voltages are required are created here or generated here and then uh, these voltages comes uh, over these ICs to power it up and also these uh, uh, like uh, voltages uh, comes here and then it goes to the upper console to drive the console so anyhow uh, sir, our problem is with the this car because it's not driving its motor and uh, how we can check these that either it's working or not we have to first uh, in repairing of any treadmill or any kind of uh, electronics equipment you have uh, sh uh, you should be a keen observer so what you should do you should like uh, observe anything like any any component very keenly is there any shortage is there any uh, sparking is there anything that's black or uh, is there any smell so it will help you to identify the problem so anyhow uh, first i will just check these because someone already tried to uh, repair it and most probably uh, these components will be short I think I think I'm not sure but uh, we will check it that uh, either these components are short or not and uh, these are the bridge rectifier and here we have the diodes across this so I will check this this it's uh, like a, it's a circuit of like uh, you can say the bising circuit which is very much important so let's move I will remove this and then we will check okay I have removed this card and uh, here we have the bridge rectifier uh, in the bottom of this card and the, uh, this bridge rectifier is used to uh, drive the DC motor and uh, also uh, to charge these capacitors and uh, here we have the MOSFET and you can see if I can flip this card so here you can see it's IRFP460 and here we have the diode so uh, let's check uh, this with the, the help of a multimeter okay uh, since uh, uh, this uh, the gate of uh, the MOSFET is connected uh, through this terminal it comes here and uh, this is connected with the this terminal and this is pwm that's the pulse width modulation and if you can see this come across uh, this terminal and come to the this resistor and here we have the 22 r0 resistance so these kind of resistance the resistance of like 10 ohm 15 ohm 20 ohms even more than less than 100 ohms resistor are in most of the cases these type of resistance are used as a uh, as a fuse for example if there is any shortage or any malfunctioning they will worn out or they will uh, burn out and uh, yeah, your circuit will be protected so uh, let's check uh, the this path it's okay here we are going to check the resistor and it's you know yeah, 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 yeah. there's no resistance and it's since it's a 22 ohm there should be some resistance like across uh, 22 ohms so no so it's mean i i will have to replace this so let's move further here we have the transistor which is connected with this terminal and uh, its path is okay checking this its terminal and it's it's another this uh, transistor is also short so you can see and uh, let's check this 
it was astray as well but uh, it seems okay so I will replace this uh, transistor and this resistor and then we will replace uh, this MOSFET because I have pulled it out its MOSFET and it's also short so here you can see yes so it's also short so I will replace uh, this MOSFET this resistor this transistor and then we will check